All right, everyone. T today we're talking about Dr. Disrespect, okay? I I've talked about him before, and I really wanted to give you a perspective on what Dr. Disrespect actually is. I still do think he's losing his mind. I, I wholeheartedly believe that he is losing his mind, and I hope that he actually gets it back soon or he takes a little break or something, but he is an, he is an entertainer. I'll give him that. He, he entertains and he keeps everybody... Everybody's spirits alive as far as playing bad games. I mean, he is amazing at that. He's very good at keeping a crowd's eye. And he was amazing on Twitch. He's even better on, 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 on YouTube. And it's not gotten any worse, okay? But I think mentally, he's not all there, okay? But I wanted to show you something. By the way, I also saw this too, this little thing here. This this is huge. Everyone can do a high-quality face mocap now. Oh my god, I've been waiting for, for, for this for such a long time. And I realized when I downloaded Unreal Engine 5.2 that it's out and we are ready to go. That you can do like a metahuman thing. But that's on, that's for a different channel. I just wanted to express that on, on this one because I am super excited to see that. Anyway, let's go to my channel and I want to show you uh, the comment that I am going to, to refer to in this video. Um, this one. So it's on this video right now let's see if it's here who cares dr S dr Spence is a great person great player R remember i learned from the best he he's the best completely agree this character it's a character bro relax you're way too deep into this okay now let's 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 kind of break down bill archer's comment here bill archer one two zero three okay let's do that he is a character, but I I want you to go back, and I may actually try to find something for, for you here. I, I want you to go back, and I want you to watch Dr. Disrespect when he's not in character. There is a iconic in interview of him, and he is... He pretty much says, this is a, I'm not quoting this, this is a, par this is a paraphrase. He pretty much says that his character as, doc as Dr. Disrespect... His character that he plays on his streams, <clears throat> that that is a character that he could play as being almost like him, like his actual self as a kid. Like just have this cocky attitude, always know what to say, always have the best com comebacks. Like I, I wholeheartedly believe that Doctor Disrespect is play is playing is not just a character. That's who he actually is as a person, right? So let's. What is Doctor Disrespect's real real name? disrespect uh dr disrespect real name I, th I think it's herschel this is online so i'm not doxing fuck you all right this is online i'm not doxing so essentially what i'm trying to say is i think that herschel is playing dr disrespect or dr disrespect is playing herschel right like, he's not an actual character. I think Dr. Disrespect's character that he plays on his streams, that is who he actually is as, as a person. Like, did you ever, if you've ever seen the clip, which I'll bring up possibly, of him getting, sh of his house getting shot at, dude, the dude almost challenges the guy to come to his house, like, actually show up at the front door so he can kick his ass. Now, Doc is a tall dude. He's like 6'8". He's big. He's a big guy. But, like... I'm telling you right now, I think Dr. Disrespect is Dr. Disrespect. Like, that is who he is as an actual person. His character that he plays on stream is his actual character, is his actual personality. He's a kid. He's, he's fucking loud. He talks shit. He has, he has no remorse. He says what's on his mind. No filter. Like, it's like the Donald Trump of gaming. Like, let's, let's put it that way. Okay? Now, let's go, let's go find some clips. Ready? So let's see. Um, I do. I do think this guy, the character, he's way, too, way too deep into this. Trust me, I might be, but I'm telling you right, right, right now that that. Wow, look at that pimple. It's ginormous. Anyway, so uh, Doctor Disres Disrespect interview without costume. And I also don't think it's a costume, bro. I think that's. I think that's his actual. Again, his actual attire. Off character in interview. I'll, I'll skip around. We're not gonna actually do the whole thing here. But. Applause. How many people? How many? How many people are here to see Doctor Disrespect? Like, whoa! Come on. Me too. That's what I'm talking about. Um,
and I think a lot of people, like obviously a lot of people know of Dr. Discus, but I'd love to hear, like, how, did, how was this a career? It's pretty change? low. Like, I'd love to hear from your time at Activision all the way up to... Damn, this yeah, is super low. God damn, bro. What's that journey like for you? Uh, well... Here's the thing. I mean, just you know, look at him. Look, so look at him though. Like, look at, run. look at who he. Look at this. It just challenged all my creative senses. I loved it. Like level design. It's design, either that or it's either that he is a true character. Like that's who is who he who he actually is, or he's just like really a nervous actually like a nervous person. And he needs like sunglasses and a mask. Not like a mask, but a wig to like get his confidence, which is still kind of weird at the end of the day. I mean, I personally think that anyone that tries to like do a character is, 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 is like a little bit weird, but that's just my opinion. But like, look at him. Look at the different demeanor that he has when he's when he's just like kind of you know in his you know just being himself, like his being himself in his own like human form. I sounds so weird, but it's it's just that's the way I that's like look at this. Like he just talks differently. He he acts different. You know, I mean, and I think that company, this I mean, is Dr. Disrespect right playing time, Herschel right right here. Like this interview in or any interview that he's ever done outside of his Dr. Disrespect character. I feel like that 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 is Dr. Disrespect playing Herschel like he's faking being this person. I know it sounds crazy and that's OK. I don't care if you think I'm crazy, but my God. It just it's it's so weird that on stream he could just be whoever he wants, but then like in an interview he's like a completely different person. Like I definitely think that it should tra it should it should translate on and off a stage at, at this at this point. You you know what I mean? People know who he is, so it's just like I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm probably crazy. What what was the what was the other clip I was talking about before? Um. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, when so, uh doctor so all right, youtube.com doctor disrespect um get uh house gets shot at Let's see if this is uh oh an experienced God. QPC eater knows. Oh ads, I love not getting paid for them. The oh, this burners. guy's probably getting Go paid for them. I'm, I'm not he's got, he's got two, inside inside editions, twelve million followers, yeah. Probably getting paid for this, aren't ya? Sorry. Take that left side. That's all I ask. A popular gamer's live stream was interrupted by what he says were real gunshots. Guy B. Look, look at that demeanor. Like, did you see the way he just stood up and just like went towards the danger? Call of Duty Black Ops 4. When he got up from his chair to check on a sound at his California home, he came back with startling news. I've got it in the broadcast right now. Someone shot at our house, broke the f upstairs window. This is the second shot someone shot yesterday. Dr. Disrespect has millions of followers on the popular video game streaming service. He's known for being super competitive. He was not playing around when he called out the look, alleged but look shooter at this. on camera. Someone shot yesterday at our house. And someone shot again right now and connected with the house upstairs. Right? You're driving by. Right? You f You f He's calling him a pussy, just FYI. I gotta stop the stream. But Police were reportedly called to the house to investigate. Dr. Disrespect's Twitch page informed his followers that this he is and his family are Twitch. safe and his stream would be down for the rest of the day. For InsideEdition.com So, did you see him though? Did you see how he actually, like, they, I don't think he realized they didn't have his glasses on and his, and his, his wig. I'm gonna be honest. Like, he, he legitimately looked upset. Like, obviously someone shot at your house, you're pissed off. But my God, like that is Dr. Disrespect, even as Herschel. Dude. He's pissed. Like he got shot at like, but <clears throat> did you see like how he had his wig off? Like that is Dr. Disrespect right there. That is him not playing a character. That is him being himself. Calling that dude a pussy. He just, he just got his house shot at. And most most of you fuckers watching this would be like, Oh my god, I just got shot at. I have to end the stream. I probably wouldn't even fucking do that. 
And he was just like, I want, I want this motherfucker to stop being a pussy and come to my door. That's, that's pretty much what he was saying. Like, that is Dr. Disrespect. That's my, that is my point to this whole thing. Is that he is, he is playing, he is not playing a character. It's Dr. Disrespect like playing Herschel. That's what it is. The dude is ruthless in real life. He just doesn't show it when he doesn't have his wig and, and, and his and his glasses on. Okay? Seriously. It is insane. I am I am I am mind blown when I when I saw that clip. I mean, I didn't just see that. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I wanted to make a podcast about it or even a video and just like give you the exact reason why I think he's not like actually playing he's not actually playing a character. He's just being himself when he has the wig and glasses on. It's crazy to think about, and a lot of you probably think I'm insane or I'm reading too much of this, which is fine, but my God, he's been through a lot too, which is also probably why he's losing his mind. I mean, he's he's been streaming for what, 15, 20 years? Almost, almost 15, right? Let's see. Let's double check. Dr. Disrespect has been streaming for how long? Damn, he got 500,000 view viewers? No. How long... Uh, how... Ah! No! How long... Has Dr. Disrespect... Been... Streaming for... So he's been he's been streaming for over 20 years. From 2010 to present. So he's been streaming for Oh, sorry, no. He's been streaming for 13 years. I can't do math. Sorry. Um I don't know why I saw that as 2001. I don't know why. Don't don't ask me. Um but he's been streaming for 13 years. 13 years on the platform. I mean not Twitch, not YouTube, but just in general. So he's been Tim has been streaming for like ten or eleven, so that goes to show you that they've been through a lot as content creators, and that that just goes to show you that Doctor Disrespect has been through a lot, so he's he's had to deal with a lot of shit. Like he had to create some tough skin, which I also think that's the reason why he created the Doctor Disrespect like mantra is because he had to develop tough skin. So if he isn't really if dr disrespect isn't his real person isn't him as a real person or as like a his like actual personality he created that almost as like an alternate like an alternate personality to pretty much go up against anything that possibly he could in like the streaming or content creation world so either way that's pretty wild to think about at the end of the day like, he created that character, and it, he completely disconnected his Herschel person, personality, from his Dr. Disrespect personality. Now, I'm not trying to say, like, he has, like, multiple personality syndrome, but I'm going to be honest, like, it's kind of like the David Goggins story. If you've ever seen da da David Goggins, like, he had to create, like, Goggins to be able to get through shit in life. Like, the dude that was just this cold-ass motherfucker that had to, that just, had, you, you couldn't break no matter what you did. I think Dr. Disrespect created Dr. Disrespect for that reason. That's my other theory. If he's not actually, if it's not Dr. Disrespect as his actual personality, he's playing somebody else, right? So he's, he's not, he, he had to split his person. Dr. Disrespect had to split his personality to pretty much gain the upper hand in streaming and in content creation. And it's worked out very well for him. People love his entertaining moments and whatever else. So I think that is the one thing that you have to take into account here. And I still stick by my first the theory. I think he, I, I think he is actually Doctor Disrespect. Like that's his actual personality versus him playing a character. I don't think that that's I. I, I guess he must have cheated on his wife too, or whatever. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't care. But if like it would make sense if he was Doctor Disrespect in that moment. You know what I mean? A little fucked up, but <laughs> that wasn't Herschel cheating on his wife. That was, that was Dr. Disrespect. So a completely different person. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me on that, but that's, that's what I personally think that his character is so obscene 
that it's like it can't be just made up like it has to be a deep dark part of his personality that he just brought to light and then just put on a wig and some sunglasses right i don't i i highly doubt that he is not like an actual insane person <laughs> by just creating this character like he might also have per multi personality syndrome i don't know but i'm just saying I'm again, I'm not saying he has it, but I'm just, there's, there's a probability. There's a likelihood that it might be possible that he could just be insane. But I think, I do think he's going insane. I'm sorry. I do think he's going insane. I, I honestly think that he's, uh, he's got, he's gotten, he's been through a lot of games. He's been through a lot of tough times. He's been through a lot of shitty games. I think he's just having, he's just had completely enough of call of duty, battlefield, whatever else. And I also got an interesting comment the other, the other day about somebody saying that um, that Call of Duty or no Battlefield was dead. Now Call of Duty has to follow it. When when I when I made my Call of Duty vi vi video, I think it was either DMZ or it was just in general about Call of Duty dying. Um, and it was actually kind of interesting to think about that. I actually questioned it. He didn't. I don't. I don't think he ever answered me. But um, essentially, he's saying that that Battlefield was already dead, and I'm like. I don't know. I mean, I, I was like, I guess I, I don't see that many people playing it anymore, unless it just might be like a TikTok or a, you know, YouTube algorithm change that like just, you know, hasn't showed me ba Battlefield clips in a while. I, I've seen a couple, but they don't really have that many likes or views. Um, so, I, so yeah, I mean, it might be like, they definitely updated ba Battlefield 2042 a lot since the last time that I played it. But, um, but essentially it's, it's still not really there. But I also I'm on again I'm on I'm on Xbox One so this this thing is a dinosaur so it can barely handle you know like zombies anymore I think it's like it crashes every time I play zombies it doesn't really crash when I play zombies that was a joke but it does it does not handle World War Z or anything with like a lot of characters on screen it just doesn't really do very well and sometimes even Gears of War it has it has some issues when, when, whenever I'm playing that uh, I'm playing Gears of War Horde so I mean you know. Eh, I, I guess I, I could get on board with, with, with it, with, you know, with, ba with Battlefield being kind of dead. I, I, I can see that as an, as a possible issue, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sure to, you know, cause at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, I guess it does have a low play, player count. Hey, he might be right. That, that guy in my comment section may, 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 may be right. Ba Battlefield might be dying. Or, die, or dead, and then Call of Duty might might be following it. But as, as I said, you know, in D, in DMZ might actually save it, and, and, and I think even Doc would like uh, DMZ if they made some real changes to it. But I also got a comment on my other DMZ vi video, and somebody said that like it's it's kind of like no, they haven't really done anything to it. And I did actually play, which I'll do it. I'll do an update stream. I'll do an update pod podcast. Pro probably you know maybe I don't I don't know when I'll do it, but uh, on DMZ. Because I did play it the other the other day with 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 one of my buddies, and it was it was interesting. It was somewhat fun, but then I, I I hit a bunch of players, and it was just it was it just felt so stupid after that. I was like, why are there players in this? Because I couldn't tell that they were players until they gunned me down in like one hit, like one like one shotgun shell dropped me at like full shield and health, and I was like, I mean, I also only had a double shield. I only had two shields. Um, which they should, they should change that and bring it back to Warzone where you could just automatically have three, three shields. I don't know why you have to have the stupid vest. It's so dumb, but I, I guess, I, I guess they, it's a good idea to have in DMZ and kind of separate that from Warzone. Uh, but, but I'll get more into that, you know, once we kind of, you know, once, once I do that podcast ep episode, but the, you know, the Dr. Disrespect thing, I do think that he is, he is a good enter entertainer. He's one, he's one of the best and I do think he's actually going insane. He actually even said the other, the other day that he's like, he like, he's going to be running a billion dollar, you know, gaming company. And I'm like, dude, chill. Like you, you're making a battle Royale. They're kind of dying. Battle Royales kind of suck. Relax. You know what I mean? Um, not to knock that it's, you know, he may not, you know, he may own a billion dollar gaming com company one day, which good for him. I hope he does. I'm going to be honest with, with you, but, um, you know, not going to do it doing bat battle royales. I mean, at the end of the day, bat battle royales at this point are so overdone. There's Fortnite, there's Apex, and there's Warzone. That's it. You know, you, uh, oh, all right. Yes. Actually, yes. Those are, the, those are the majority shareholders right now in when it comes to battle royales. I hate to tell you. You know, they're, 
their H, I think it's H1Z1, uh, maybe PUBG. Those are like kind of trickling down, but like, you know, the OGs that like love battle royales and like the original guys, they'll be playing those games, you know, you know, pub, you know, PUBG and whatever else. So at the end of the day, I don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that, I think that he definitely, if he finds a different way, a path of different path to go, kind of like what, um, what Nick, <clears throat> excuse me, what Nick and Tim and I think Cypher and I think Ninja are doing where they're creating their own game in, in Fortnite. Uh, if Doc does that, that might, that might get, that might cause him to be a billionaire, to be honest. But I don't think that, um, that him doing his own thing at this whole, you know, from what I've seen from all the gameplay that, I, that I've seen from his actual ba battle royale, it doesn't look very appealing to be honest with you. Again, I'm not really that interested in battle royales, but from, from what I've seen, Doc's battle royale that he's made is really not that impressive it's just kind of like one of the other it's it's like all the other ones that, that we've seen where and i'm just like eh you know it's gonna be another it's gonna be another battle, battle royale with with probably microtransactions just to keep it alive you know it's it's just gonna be one of those so i i, I eventually want to make a battle royale but i want it to be like more similar to what's it called blackout I want it to be more simple. Sim I, I I want my battle royale to be more similar to Blackout, having different maps, having different POIs, having like you know PVE experiences. I'll, like even if it's just like planes flying over, zombies, infected people, like zombie people from like kind of like Resident Evil zombies where they shoot back at you, bots. Like that's the kind of shit I want to do. Like I I want to give you an overall fun experience for. Cause then, cause then it kind of, cause like, I feel like Warzone should be more of a Warzone than like a sprinkle of like PVE. Cause it's just like PVE, like, but that's the problem with like hackers and whatever else PVE experiences or PVP experiences get like ruined. And it's like, if everyone drops a certain POI, a point of interest in case you're wondering, uh, if, if, so, if certain people drop a POI, then everyone dies. So it's like, if you got a streams, if you got a streamer going into a game and there's like 30 people in, in the lobby that are all stream snipers or whatever, they're all going to drop su Superstore, let's say. That's 30 people out of 100 that, that are gone. You're And the circle hasn't even come in yet. You know what I mean? So it's like, it really doesn't, it really doesn't do a, a, the game justice if you're just doing a PvP experience. <clears throat> you know, you need the zombies. You need... Players can turn into zombies too. I think that would be kind of fun, you know, having like the zombie royale bring that back. I don't know why they, they don't bring that that back. I mean, they they tried the ghost royale. I was like that was okay, but it was like kind of weird in, in a sense. Um, I don't know. It was such a weird experience doing that doing that stupid ghost thing. But I I genuinely think that giving a war zone or a battle royale experience more PVE with pvp there should be more of a balance i feel like but again call of duty always goes towards the pvp experience versus the pve which i talked about in my last episode or one of my last ep episodes i think it was episode 25 or 26 um about dmz and it just dmz needs to be more pve fo focused with, with just a sprinkle of pvp whereas warzone i feel like should be more of a balance between the both between the two or if you want to keep it the same, that's great. Like it should be, there should be a PVP centered experience, but really that should be just multiplayer. Like Warzone, I feel like should be, it should be more of, of its own ecosystem where you have, you know, you have like a, maybe a gunsmith where you can go in and buy stuff and you can go, in, you know, instead of having just like a buy station, you have like somebody that can actually shoot back at you like a bot that's holding up, uh, you know, a gun station or something along those lines. You know what I mean? Um, to where there's different missions and different stuff to do while you're in the battle royale scenario, you know, then you hit the final circle, you know, cause then it's more, there's more things for people, for people to do instead of just dropping in, getting the best gun and just firing at, 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 at each other like that. That shouldn't be the premise of, of a battlefield It's just dropping in, get, getting a gun and then firing at the guy, at the guy next to you. It's just, it's just too fast. It's just too fast paced. There has to be some kind of like, you know, adventure to it, but I decide to just like go in and kill. Yes, I'm a simple gamer, but I also hate that I have to go find a gun every time I have to spawn in. So it's like, why bother doing that? 
That's my opinion, though. I, I just, that's my opinion. I don't, I, I, I definitely think it should be more balanced for PV and PVP. In like a Warzone type of experience. Multiplayer to me is the, if you want a PVP experience, that's multiplayer. If you want a PVE versus P PVP, that's like a Warzone experience. DMZ is more of a PVE experience. That's a whole separate animal with just a slight sprinkle of PVP. Or P, or P, yeah, with a slight sprinkle of PVP. Whereas, it, you can even do it just as like squads. And then if somebody's squad goes down, you can't actually see the squad until they go down and somebody calls for help. Because that's what you can do in DMZ. You can call for help and somebody, if, they're, if their squad is low on one person, you, you can actually get them into your squad if you revive them. So it's like, that's what I see. That's, that's, that's my personal opinion. I think that that's really the better option as far as DMZ. But as far as Dr. Disrespect's game goes, I don't think it's going to be like super amazing. I, I, I think it's just going to be another bat, battle royale that we kind of just, you know, buy. And then, you know, you get tired of over time. Cause like, that's again, as I said, it's just, it's been overdone. Like you can't really do much more with battle royales at this point, unless you do my approach, which is more of a PVE experience and a PVP experience, but it's more balanced. Like it's got kind of a GTA vibe to it where you have gunsmiths, you have, uh, zombie locations you have you know infected areas maybe radioactive areas where you need like a spate like a suit a radioactive suit to go into and, and explore and whatever else and if you can't find a suit then you know you you go in there you can like you know heal yourself or whatever or maybe you just you know you walk slower over time or something you know where it adds like a where it adds different elements to the game instead of just like drop down get a gun Find the first team to kill and then move on. And then, or, or again, you drop down, you loot, you get shot, and then you, and then you have to go back to, to, to the lobby. It's like it's just it's a boring experience because that's pretty much how battle royales are. It's drop, loot, die, or drop, loot, kill. That's it. That's all it is at the end of the day. So that's why it's just boring to to do that stuff over and over again. But. I really do appreciate you watching this episode. I I think that Dr. Disrespect might be losing his shit, and I also do wholeheartedly think that he is uh, he is not playing a character. That is actually Dr. Disrespect, him as a person. So if you like this video, please drop a like, and if you don't, you should you should probably subscribe because, uh, you know, the content here is just getting better and better with each video. And if you've watched this far, you might as well subscribe. So see ya!